It's time for Friday Follies, right here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. This episode of Bells in the Battery originally released March 6th, 2017. But first, this word. When you make a promise, you should keep it. The fulfillment of his promises were so disappointingly disappointing. I never should have listened to him. I had a great future. I was going to go to college. But then that all went down the toilet. And I'm just so disappointed. I've never been so let down. I've had to lower my expectations just to get rid of the stench. When justice needs to be served cold, call on me, Brad Motworth, attorney at law. I am instituting a classy action lawsuit against a media figure who made promises that remain unfulfilled. A person who has turned his back on you, and you deserve outrageous financial compensation. So if you feel you have been wronged by the promise that was made to put his show on YouTube, then join me in suing John Bell of Bells in the Bat Free. Claim your fair share of the millions I intend to soak him for. If you are mad as heck that he didn't continue to put his show on YouTube, as he promised, call me, Brad Motworth, attorney at law, at 1-800-SUE-THE-B. I had one more word there that starts with B, but I ran out of numbers. I'll let you use your imagination as to what that word was going to be. Get paid for your pain, suffering, disillusionment, loss of trust, denial of entertainment, and other stuff I'm still looking up. Call me Brad Motworth, and we can all climb onto the money train. Oh, and get justice and all that stuff, too. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the quality of legal services performed by other lawyers. However, you feel in your gut that Motworth's services really are better in every way, although no representation is made to that fact. The hiring of a lawyer is an important decision and should not be based solely on advertisements. It should be based on how cool, handsome, and successful said lawyer is or has the potential to be, like in the case of Brad Motworth. Attorney at law. What, what was that? Hold it, hold it. Wait, 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 wait. Stop the music. Stop the music. I'm not starting the podcast yet. What was that? What was that ad at the beginning of the show? This is Miss Schmeckelheimer. Miss Sadie Schmeckelheimer. Miss Schmeckelheimer, is Brad Montworth in? That depends. Do you mean in, as in, he's really in, and not out, dude? Or do you mean he is in, as in occupying space within the confines of this particular building? The second one. Is he here? Is he in his office? Yes. No. Well, which is it? He is in the building, but not in his office. He is in the pool room. We have a pool room? Yes, he had the pool table brought in last night. He was celebrating making a sale for a commercial for your podcast. It's his own commercial! I'll page him for you. Thank you. Paging Brad Montworth. Paging Brad Montworth. This is Brad Montworth. This is Brad Montworth. What do you need? Mr. Bell is looking for you. Thank you. I'll take care of it. You're welcome. When he gets... You're welcome. When he gets in here, I'm gonna... Oh, no. Brad, I I don't know where you are. How could... I don't know how to page on this thing. This is Miss Schmeckelheimer. Yes, Miss I... Miss Sadie Schmeckelheimer. Yes, I know, Miss Schmeckelheimer. Do you know how to page on this telephone? No, I do not. But you just paged. I know how to page on my phone, but your phone may be different. Oh, boy. You should probably ask Arnie. He installed the phone system. All right, all right. Could you please get Arnie for me? Right away, Mr. Bell. Thank you. Paging Arnie No, 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 that's not what... Paging Arnie Oh. Mr. Bell is looking for you. Okay, once I learn how to... No, 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 no. No, no. Uh, what am I gonna... No. Now what? I'm not. No one seems to be able to find I'm him. in the studio. Why did we get a pool table? Miss oh, for the love Miss of. Sadie what now? Somebody needs to find Mr. Bell. I'm in the studio. No. No. 
uh, uh, to report he is not in the pool room. I'm doing my part of the search. Mm. Rock and roll. Listen. This is Brad Montworth. <laughs> now that you mention it, it does sound pretty good. No. 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 Oh. No. Oh, I can't take any more of this. Stop singing right now! Oh, everybody's a crank. Horny, can you hear me? Yes, I can, Mr. Bow, but you're very weak. I can you have the body control on your pages. You're getting really good there. I'm not on my... All you have to do is A no. star... Stop it, stop it. I'm not on the page here. Could you please come to the studio? I'll be back to Mr. Bell. Good. Where are you? I'm in the studio. I'm in the studio. Okay, hurry up. Be in the studio, Mr. Bell. Good. Good. I need you to show me how to make a page using this phone. Oh, that's simple, Mr. Bell. First, you push the hashtag. The what? The hashtag. The what? The pound sign. Oh, okay. Then you push three, one, five. Uh Uh-huh. Then you hold down the car. The what? The car. The cigar? No, no, the star. The star. The asterisk. Oh, let's go back to cigar. This button right here. Uh, I can't tell what that. Oh, excuse me. Let me clean it off here. <laughs> there, see? Oh, the star. Yeah. Okay. All right. Who are you trying to page, Mr. Bell? I'm trying to get hold of Brad Montworth. Oh, he's in the pool room. <sighs> okay, I know he's in the pool room. I don't know where the pool room is, so I need to page him. No, you don't. Here, let me show you. Hey, Brad! Yeah? Mr. Bell wants ya! Be right there! It's right next door. Hi, Mr. Bell! All right, Brad. Tell me what's going on. Well, I won two out of three games, but I made a scratch. And... Not in the pool room, in 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 your commercial that you started the show with. Oh yeah, you're welcome, Mr. Bell. I'm always out there trying to get commercials into your podcast. But Brad, this is a commercial for you. A sale is a sale, Mr. Bell. Then you paid for that commercial time at the beginning of the podcast. I certainly. Will. Will? Well, I made a contract, Mr. Bell, that I will pay you out of the proceeds when I win this lawsuit. But the lawsuit is against me. You're suing me, Brad. And I'm so proud to have you involved in my very first case as a lawyer, Mr. Bell. You're suing me. Well, technically, a bunch of people are suing you. I'm simply representing them and trying to squeeze the most out of you as I can for my fee. Uh, for them. For, uh, justice. You know, that sort of stuff. What did I do? What did I do that deserves me being sued? Well, you broke your promise, Mr. Bell. You sort of busted up a contract that you made with your listeners, if you know what I mean. I don't know what you mean. Oh, you don't know no, no. what I mean. Okay, uh, remember back in March of last year, which would be uh, 2016? Yes, 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 yes. And you started putting your podcasts on YouTube? Yes, a lot of people were doing that. I thought I'd try it. How many did you put on YouTube, Mr. Bell? I don't know, maybe a dozen or two? Nine, Mr. Bell. Okay, nine. Nine. I put nine up. So what? You stopped posting them, Mr. Bell. It turned out to be more difficult than I thought it would be, putting some sort of video in the background. It took up too much time. I had to stop. Crushing the dreams and aspirations for entertainment by your listeners. I don't think anyone really cares. Oh, no one cares. Well, we'll see about that, Mr. Bell. I'll see you in court. Oye, oye, oye. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Charles Weatherby presiding. Everybody sit down. All right, let's get today's circus started. Who's first? A people voices John Bell, Your Honor. Very well. Is the attorney for the defense ready? Uh, Your Honor, if it please the court, I would like to make a motion uh, unto the possibility that... This isn't an episode of law and order. Just speak plainly, please. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Your Honor, sir. This is going to be a long 
day, I can tell already. I'm, uh, representing myself as my own lawyer, sir. Do you have a law degree, son? Uh, no, no, I don't. And I suppose you've heard the old adage that a person who represents himself has a fool for a lawyer. Yes, sir, I, I have heard that. Then what is your reason for representing yourself? Because the prosecuting attorney is a fool. I see. I just wanted to kind of level the playing field. All right, then, let's check in with the other fool. Is the prosecuting attorney present? Yes. Yes, I am, Your Honor. May I approach the bench? We haven't even started yet. I'd still like to approach if it's okay with you, sir. Very well. Make it quick. Yes, thank you, sir. <clears throat> As a token of my appreciation for your fair and just treatment of this case, I would like to hand you this uh, <clears throat> fruit basket. This what? And chocolate. Chocolate? I, I... And whatever's in this bottle. It was expensive. Sit down, Mr. Montworth. You're welcome, Your Majesty. Uh, you're holding the, uh, your uh, honor, sir. Thank you. Mr. Bell, I am beginning to see your point. I thought you might. Let's have our opening statements. First, the lawyer for the prosecution, Mr. Montworth. Uh, Thank you. <clears throat> your Honor, members of the jury. Um, I would Mr. like... Mr. Montworth, there is no jury. This is a preliminary hearing. Oh, oh, um, um, <clears throat> I got, uh... Twelve fruit baskets to return. Uh, fine, okay, uh, your honor, sir. Some months ago, Mr. Bell promised that he would put his episodes of Bells in the Bat Free what? on the... Wait, 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 wait. What is this Bells in the Bat Free thing? It's a uh, podcast, your honor. A podcast? Yes, yes, a uh, podcast. You know what podcasts are? No. Oh. Okay, they're uh, audio shows that you put on the internet so people can listen to them. Why would people listen to them? Well, in Mr. Bell's case, that's something I've been wondering, too. Hey, objection! On what grounds? He's being snarky. Mr. Montworth, please don't be snarky. Don't call my comment snarky until you've actually heard the show. <laughs> snarky! Could we please get on with this? Yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> Mr. Bell promised that he would put his show on YouTube. But after only a few episodes... Who stop putting it on YouTube? We're Mr. Montworth, are you eating an apple in my courtroom? Well, you've got plenty of your own there, sir. That's not the point. I mean, I got plenty of fruit here. If anybody wants some, yeah, toss one over here. There will be no apple eating in my courtroom. Banana? No. Pear? No eating at all. All righty then. Get back to what you were saying. Right. Uh, anyway, he said he'd put it on YouTube and uh, he stopped doing that and he promised he'd do it and uh, a lot of people are really upset that he didn't follow through on his promise. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> I'll just sit down now. Mr. Bell, would you like to make an opening statement? Yes, sir. Um, I never promised that I'd keep doing it, and Brad Montworth is an idiot. Objection! Snarky! Overruled! He's just stating facts. Huh. Well, I should have taken one of your apples. Mr. Montworth, for whom are you suing, Mr. Bell? For him suing whom, huh? Who are you representing? Um, I represent truth, justice, and the Amer- Who is your client who's paying you to do this? Oh, yes, of course, the people that were wronged. Uh, I sent out a message for everybody who feels they were harmed by Mr. Bell to come out here today and join me in this lawsuit. And are they in the courtroom? now. No. None of them? Well, the buses are running late. They should be here any time. But I do have one here with me, Mr. Uh, Mr. Pipsqueak. Uh, that's Persky. Sam Persky. Yes, yes, some Pipsqueak. Then let's get on with it. I call some Pipsqueak to the stand. Sam Persky. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Oh, yes, indeed. State your name, Mr. Pipsqueak. Sam Pipsqueak. Persky. Mr. Pop-Tart, would you please tell the court how you felt when Mr. Mr. Bell ceased placing his podcasts on YouTube. What exactly is a podcast? Mr. Pasty, tell everybody in your own words how you felt when you were betrayed. I think betrayed is sort of a strong term for... In your own words, Mr. Pothole. I thought I... Oh, 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 yes. Um. <clears throat> when Mr. Bell ceased placing his podcast... Your favorite podcast. Bell's in the... Bells in the... Bait... Bait fry? Bat free? Bat... Bat free. Mm -hmm. On YouTube... YouTube... I felt betrayed and had emotional... in a dress. Distress. Distress. And? And I feel like my, my life, life will never, never be, be the same. same. Go on...
without some sort of financial remuneration. Financial remuneration is the only hope for this poor person. Thank you, Mr. Peddle. Mr. Bell, do you wish to question Mr. Pokemon? Persky. Persky! Sure, why not? Sir, how long have you been enjoying Bells in the Bat Free? Um, decades. Mm-mm. Years. Mm. Or months. Were you a fan of Bells in the Bat Free before it was on YouTube? Yes, I would watch it every week, Mm-mm. every month, Mm-mm. every day, Mm-mm. every hour. Listen! Listen! Mm-hmm. I would listen for it. To, it, to it. No more questions, Your Honor. Mr. Montworth, do you have any other witnesses? Yes, I do, Your Honor. That might help you? Not at this time, Your Honor. I was hoping that my other witnesses would show up, but they... Mr. Montworth, you're going to need... A miracle to pull this off. You need more witnesses that I can count. You need authoritative proof that Mr. Bell has caused damage to these people. I'm going to call a recess of five minutes, after which I will come back, see if you have anything to say, and then pass judgment. We are recessed for five minutes. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I don't know what I'm going to (laughs) do. Look at him over there. He's got nothing. I may as well pay no attention to him for a while and eat these potato chips. Mmm, oh, he's good. Uh, are you Brad Montworth? Yes, I am, yes, I am. What do you want? Uh, listen, I'm a uh, driver. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah? Huh? Really? Oh, 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 let me go see. Mmm, these are good potato chips. Mmm, mmm. I bet I've been eating them for mm, five minutes now. It's been five minutes. Court is now back in session. Mr. Montworth, do you have anything to say? Yes, I do, Your Honor. I would like to make the following facts known to everybody for the record. The Greyhound Bus Company began in Hibbing, Minnesota back in 1914. Today, Greyhound serves over 3,800 destinations with headquarters in Dallas, Texas since 1987. The company... Uh, Your Honor, I don't understand what all this has to do with anything. Mr. Montworth, does this have anything to do with anything? Well, it has something to do with the Greyhound Bus Company, which has been around for a long time. Your Honor, I accept that the Greyhound Bus Company has been around for a long time. And that it is a very good company, and it does what it's supposed to do. And authoritative. Wouldn't you say they're authoritative? I think they're authoritative. Wouldn't you think authoritative would be a good word that describes them? Yes, fine, authoritative, whatever. Let's just get this done. Your Honor, a Greyhound bus has just pulled up outside this building, and they have brought to me further witnesses. Mr. Montworth, you're going to need more than just a few more witnesses to turn the case in your direction. Well, should I bring them in? Yes, Mr. Montworth. Have them come in and sit here on my desk. Ah, but your honor... On my desk, Mr. Montworth. But I think that... On my desk. Yes, sir, whatever you say. Open the doors in the back of the courtroom! Where's the judge's desk? Someone told me I had to sit on the judge's desk. Over here. Oh, okay, thanks. Uh, someone give me a boost, will you? Now, uh, you uh, uh, all righty. Did I get here on time? Yes, yes, you got here on time. Where's the rest of them? The rest of who? The rest of the people suing Mr. Bell. Who's Mr. Bell? Sir, what is your name, please? My name is Tom Persky. I'm here to pick up my little brother and take him home when he's done. Hi, Tom. Ah, be quiet, you pipsqueak. So the bunch you got off of and the 14 behind it don't have anybody else in them? That is correct. And this trial is over. Oh, boy, Your Honor, how much do I get? You get 30 days if you're not out of my courtroom in 10 seconds. Boy, this sure worked out better for Edmund Gwynn and John Payne back in 1947. Five. What's that? Four. Oh, I'm going, I'm three, going. Three. Everybody out of my courtroom. Could someone get me down from here? You've been listening to Bells in the Battery, episode 162, copyright 2017 by John Bell Creative, LLC. No representation is made that the legal proceedings in this episode represented the actual legal proceedings of real courtrooms.
in this time of COVID-19. CDC asks you keep your hands clean. Don't congregate and kindly shelter in place. Also wash your hands and don't touch your face. So use soap and water and grab a clean towel. And don't be a Jonah. Prevent spread of Corona by washing your hands. Olay! This was a public service announcement from the Mutual Audio Network.